Alright. Hello, welcome. I'm Ghosty Films. And I'm Kenshin1913, and we're doing a new Let's Play. Yeah. Well, not really. I'm not gonna be. It's really old. It's The Great Gatsby? Uh, See, that didn't come out as well last time. Anyways, this is Let's Play The Great Gatsby, although I don't know if we're gonna go through the whole game. Um, and Pete did say that correctly. Oh, tab shoot. In full screen, tab shoots. Oh, we shouldn't. We, we should have, like, did research. Yeah, we are morons. Anyways, this is the Great Gatsby. So are we doing full screen then? Dan's favorite book of all time. Yeah. Better than even let's say. Better than even let's say. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Hell, um, even that one you were just reading. So you gotta use tab to shoot. I don't read. Yeah. No. You remember that one you were reading? The one you were reading in the kids, the re with the with the moron and the uh, oh of mice and men. Yeah, the moron and the uh, and the other guy who's snarky. So you play as Nick Carraway, I guess, and now you're uh, like a white supremacist or something, or like no, a No, you're in banana. All right, that's the color, Dan. You're you eating a lot of bananas. Well, did you know that that Ga great that the characters in Great Gatsby were kind of racist? Dan, they weren't just kind of racist. They were pretty damn racist. They were all the way racist. Yeah, all the way. So right now we have to find Gatsby. Is that our mission? I believe so. And here we go. It's old owl eyes. Yeah. It's a bona fide piece of bird. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I made him sound like I'll he was from the party. I'll fool my father with a regular black law. There's a trump. Next. What the fuck? Blah, 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 blah. What do you want? It's just like we're reading the novel. I'm looking like God in the garden. Gatsby in the garden. You made that. You made old owl eyes sound like the uh, mm. prospecting guy from Blazing Saddles. Yeah, well. Oh, oh look, there's money. Mo I'm a money grubbing piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you're Nick Carraway, who I don't remember who he is. He works in the bond business. I was Pete. gonna tell you, don't even bother telling me, but all right. It, it, and you're he, beating him all these waiters down. He works in the bond business and he beats people up. He's kind of like a crime fighter in that book. If you actually read the novel, you'd know that he fights crime. By throwing his odd job style hat with razor yeah. lining up. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember him and Odd Job, they're like distant cousins. Uh, hey! You lost hey. your hat. She you kicked me in the face. You can still use your hat, though. She was doing the Charleston and kicked me right in the, in the old noggin. You're talking about like the Charleston shoe Just, dance? No, I'm talking about the, the Charleston. It's a dance that they did in the 1920s. And where they go, do they go hot cha cha? I don't or know. No? I, I don't know. You don't know. even know. What is, the, what is the difference between him being. Oh, okay, I see. I say, what the hell is the difference between him looking like a banana and him looking like it's whatever the hell the a brown thing is? I don't is? know. I think it has to do with racism. But you know what? These guys are actually pretty easy. I mean, they don't have weapons or anything. Yeah. Either. Holy shit, where are we? I don't know. In Gatsby's lime green, uh, yeah. pimp room? I don't know. Oh, it's not just a pimp room, Dan. It's a champagne room where... Whoa! Uh, I didn't... How would I... What? Come on, Dan. You're supposed to be able to beat this game. This is the Great Gatsby. You're reading the book, so you should know everything that's going Oops, on. Oops, I threw a hat at it. Whoa, he's so sparkly. And yeah. I'm, and I'm having a homosexual crush on him, <laughs> kind of like Nick Carraway did in the book. Oh, nice. Uh, good job, old sport. No, you gotta read it like Gatsby would say. That's how, I, that's how you no, say it. No, good job, old sport. He's an... I love that girl. Alright, now oh. this is where he's stalking Daisy, I think. Yeah, that's the green light on her house, because he's like, he stalks her and he's spying on her. Oh, yeah. Kind of like Thomas on 25. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Nick Carraway, all sad. Oh, did you shoot that green Whoa, light? Whoa, al aliens abducted him just like in the book. I remember that, yeah. There's three things I remember, no, four things I remember out of this book. Aliens. There's no tits. Or ass. Whoa, I don't remember this scene. I don't remember the Ninja Gaiden scene. <laughs> yeah. And the the engineer is after you. This is just like Ninja Gaiden. Ninja yeah. Gaiden 2, rather. Well, Dan, what do you want when... You remember those I... those birds in Ninja Gaiden? You know what? This is the worst Let's Play I've ever done. You want to know why? Why? I'm not even timing oh, this shit. Oh! I thought I could stand on that like in Ninja <laughs> Gaiden. You can't. You know what? I'm not even timing... What we're doing here. This is so unprofessional. Just uh, like the guy who wrote the Pete, Great Gatsby. If you would just if you would just give the Great Gatsby a little more time and patience, then you'd understand it. Maybe it's, I would. Dan. It's all oh. you have to jump at those chains. Alright, but Pete. Nick Carraway is not a chain jumper. 
Pete, it's, uh, this is one of the uh, classic um, examples of American gameriture. Mm, yeah. And uh, there you, you, go. you can't just, like, you have to pay attention to the details and the subtle uh, literary devices that are used. Man. And if you, and th this scene symbolizes Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh, wow. it symbols? Yes, symbolism. Yeah. It's, it's I like, think you're going to have to fight a boss in this one, then. Maybe. I don't know. Look, the enemy's got a bar. You, I think you're going to have to fight a boss. Oh, I see what happens with his hat. It gets all hatty. Ninja Gaiden 2, few people realize, was based on the Great Gatsby. Yeah, the Great Gatsby game. I get you. And, uh, oh, it's a drunken hobo. Oh. Damn, he was drunk in the last episode, in the last level. And I don't know if he was homeless then, but now all of a sudden, he's homeless? Maybe. All the people that go to, to uh, Gatsby's parties were moochers. Well, yeah, what they, do you want, Dan? They didn't even go to his funeral. Queers. Dan, Dan, spoiler alert. Come on. What's happening? You're fighting a boss, Dan. Come on. Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> you gotta fight Mr. Owl Eyes. No, he, these are the eyes of Dr. TJ, TJ Eckelberg. Holy shit. What? Holy shit. I, I, this is a game. This is, Dan, all you gotta do is end twice. One more time, Dan. Ah! You couldn't even do that. I'm a failure at life. You're in the Valley of Ashes. Yeah. Which kind of sounds like asses. All right, Dan, you gotta hit him five times before he hits you three times. Can you do that? Maybe. It's Dr. T.J. Did you know that, that the eyes of Dr. T.J. Eckelberg are uh, symbolic of God? So I'm basically fighting God right now with my hat. Yeah, well, you're doing a pretty bad job. I don't think well, I'm just gonna stand here. Yeah, there you go, Dan. You won. You beat God. I didn't even have to move. Congratulations. I beat him with my hat, Pete. You beat God. You beat him to within an inch of his life. You beat God. Yeah. You took God and you bent him over. Is that a rib cage? No, oh. Dan. They're having sex at a party. No, they're actually, it's not even that cool. No, She's it's crying not. because she likes uh, Great Gatsby's shirts. Yeah, she's stupid. Yeah, you're right, Pete. You're right. Anyways, we're going to have to end it here, and in the next episode, we they can all go to hell. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913. And I'm Ghosty Films. And we're Let's Playing the Great Gatsby. Yeah. Right now we're in New York City. <laughs> Honor. Uh, I have a Honor harmonica. No, you don't. I do too. They don't even exist. I have like three this of them. The game doesn't exist, Dan. It does too. Now, the only way you can play this game is if you have a ROM of it. And the only way you can have a... Who's that? A slut? I don't know. Talk to her. I think I've had enough of this two-bit town. Well, a girl's gotta jump a... down in the sewer to find a drink around here. Good night, Mr. Caraway. See you anon. Oh, oh you said it's again, not anon. Uh, and look, that booze didn't even fill up whatever the hell it's supposed to fill up. What does booze fill up? Your tummy? I don't know, Pete. It makes you not feel feelings anymore. Isn't that the best? I love the, the fact that I don't feel feelings after Look at those guys with nets. They're homeless around. people. Game me oh, those are hobos. See, that's his handkerchief is tied to a stick. Nice. Just like in the book. Just like in the book. Classic, classic hobos action. This You're is like from the golden age of homeless men. Yeah, oh. they did. You know what? They had a good time back in the 20s, those homeless men. Yeah, they had it good. Mm -hmm. I know. I wish I could have it as good as they did. How are you going to get back up there? I fell into the sewer. Way to go, Dan. Just like in the book. <laughs> yeah, and there's Crocs and... And rats. Just like in the book, and they're mm -hmm. green. Yeah, well, Dan, they gotta keep the color palette correct. Come on. I remember that, that remember in like chapter four when Nick Carraway. Oh, shoot. Oh, you said shoot, you could have said shit. Remember in chapter four <laughs> when Nick Carraway wrestled the alligator? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was no, chapter no, no. four. Are you sure it wasn't chapter three? Because uh, I think it was at the end of chapter three, beginning of chapter four. Maybe you you're right. Maybe you're right. And then Daisy came in and she took her clothes off. She didn't. Um, I, I hope anyone who's ever... You know what? Anyone... I wish... I wish there was someone out there ballsy enough that's one of my viewers that's actually in school reading The Great Gatsby now. And they would literally write their paper on this game. I hope so. <laughs> I, can, I can only hope. I mean, we are... We do educate. Yeah, now we're learning to speak easy, Dan. Down yeah. Oh my sewer. God, it's one of ah, it's one of the thugs, the kid that shot Rosie Rosenthal on the street. Yeah, that's it, Dan. That's that's who it is. Yeah. Why don't you go back for that big bag of money? Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, Dan. There's a big bag of money. You this know, it's like scarier than Doom. Dan, you should probably go get that big bag of money. Really? Yeah, it's probably gonna give you some money, and oh, if you have more that. money, 
you might be able to get an extra life. Really? I don't know how. Oh shit! Come on, Dan. You got the hot cha chas here. The homeless guys throwing things. You're almost dead. I know. You're never gonna make it through this game, are you? We're never gonna see if Gatsby lives or dies, are we? Is he gonna have sex with his, his longtime friend that said, F, F that, I'm gonna marry some other guy? That guy should get shot by his own bullet, shouldn't he? Ah. Dan! Dan. Go! No, you should have shot them, Dan, with your hat. What is your problem? I don't know! I'm scared! No, no. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're winning. Ah. I can tell you that right now. Game over, old sport. You don't even have a freaking continue. You gotta do that all over again. You know what? We're gonna continue, Dan. Don't even stop. Go. All right, let's it's Gatsby time. I just took off my shirt. <laughs> now we're ready to roll. Yeah, press start. Oh. I don't know, Dan. Space bar. Dan, this is your game, and you're gonna sleep in it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna sleep in it. Yeah, you know, like this is your mess, and you're gonna sleep in it. This is the shit that you. All right. Like, you know that one time, Brian. He had you crapping this in this thing, and you were like, I don't know why I'm crapping in this thing. But then later you put it in your bed, so it was your own shit. So you had to lie in it. You ever hear that line? No. He doesn't even know what that line is either. Rob is here, and he doesn't know what that line is either. To be honest, Pete. Oh I'm no, not... no. You know what it is? Time out. It's your own bed, and yeah. Why See, would you think it was your shit? I don't. I don't know why anyone would sleep in a bucket of shit. Except for the reason that there was this one... Alright, here, here's a story, alright? There was this movie, alright? It's called Almost Heroes. It's with, uh... It's with Chris Farley and Matthew Perry, where they, they play guys... Where they play explorer guys trying to beat, uh... Lewis and Clark to the West. Anyways, there's a character in that movie who talks about how he used to play tricks on his brother. And one time, his, him and his brother were out. They were, uh playing down by the river and he went to, his brother went to do something and they had this pudding and so what he ended up doing was he put shit in the pudding and he had his brother eat pudding well to find come to find out he really didn't have a brother and he put shit in the pudding and ate it himself so he ate the shit pudding and I always thought that was hilarious hence why I try to throw in so many jokes about people eating crap there you go you just learned a little something about me yes I did now watch out for those chandeliers and the homeless men drinking and the uh, mountains and mountains of waiters. And there's the Gatsby. Good there's job, old sport. I got all my money through Monopoly money. That's how I own this house. Thank you, Uncle Money Warbuck. All right, yeah, yeah. Aliens abduct Gatsby. Uh, let's go. Aliens did not... Why do you always think it's aliens? Because he disappeared. Clearly it was aliens. No, it was the mob. Come on, Dan. Uh, Maybe it was even Castro. You're not even thinking. You're not even thinking. And you're just like, uh, aliens. I know, you do have a paranormal fetish. You just you just want everything to be aliens, don't you? Maybe. You're, you want aliens in your butt, don't you? I do, kind of. I, would, I mean, I... And you, not even the, like, nice aliens. I found like, some blood in my stool, and I was, <laughs> I'm hoping somebody would check, you know, look around back there and yeah. tell me if something's wrong. Not even, like, not even, like, like, those nice aliens that turn into people, so when you have sex with them, it's not really that creepy. But, like, you like the aliens that look disgusting and hideous. Uh, and now you gotta fight J. McFiddle Pinklebottom. You're right, Pete. <laughs> See, finally, someone gives in to my demands. Dan, come on. You're doing awful. You just stand there and shoot stuff at him. This is totally Ninja Gaiden. I yeah. love it. I don't love this game, but I love Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden it was what? We could have been playing Ninja Gaiden 2 instead of the Great Gatsby. But that's right. Because we'll eventually get to it. And what's that? She's, Shirts. She threw away, what, scrumpets? Scrumpets, exactly. I can't believe she would throw away a good scrumpet like that. Sometimes you gotta throw away scrumpets. They're, they just get, there are too many of them, and you need to keep that yeah. shit in check. <coughs> so Last time I saw a hobo, he jumped like that too. I know, he was jumping for joy because cause he could live off Medicaid. And it wasn't, it wasn't invented in this time, was it, Dan? Uh, I guess not. Drink Listen, on. don't go into the damn the thing. She said, Dan. see you anon. No, it said again. 
damn it. You can't even talk to her, can you? She said, see you again after I go mops. Yeah, what the hell is see you anon anyways? It's like Kofi anon? What, what are you talking about? I think so. Dan, I, I think there's problems with you. Well, I have to prepare for this game by getting schloss, by getting, uh, like, drunk and out of my mind, kind of like, mm. you know, in the spirit of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that, Dan. Dan you know what? You beat Mega Man. You beat Top Man without... You're kicking ass. Holy shit. Dude, you got four. That's fucking nice. You can fucking go around and around without... I would use one per thing if you wanted to. Nice. Anyways, Dan, you know what? You beat Top Man, alright, without... You beat Top Man without... Find another... Good night. See, See you, you anon. anon. It's again, Dan. It should it's be... It's anon. Who the hell's anon? I don't know, but I, look, but look, Pete. Alright, Dan. Who is right and who is wrong? You're wrong and I'm right. I hate your guts. <laughs> I hope you knew that was coming. Jeez. Even, even if you went back... <laughs> I was hoping you'd know that was coming. But yeah, Dan, you beat fucking Top Man with just a Mega Buster. How can't you, like, how can't you see what's coming, like, three steps ahead of you? Where's your, where's your brown sense? I, I don't know. It's like spider sense, but not nearly as good. How could I have anything as good as Spider-Man? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, don't jump in here. Try to get that hat. And then keep going. Yeah, there you go. You got the hat power, Dan. You remember, you remember that, ep you remember that, uh, that chapter where Nick, uh, gets on with Gatsby? I think yeah. it's right at the, right at the end, when Nick comes in the room. He's like, hey, Gatsby, is anyone here? I'm gonna take a shower, and then Gatsby comes in with him. Wanna you, go remember? for a ride in my hydroplane? Huh? You know, the, never mind. Those boats that go on the... Dan, don't get me started on boats. Because there's a boat that I've always wanted. Banana boat? No, it's the, uh, catamaran. You don't want to get me started on catamarans, Dan. Dan, now you see that guy? He's stuck there. So what you have to do is let him shoot his thingy, and you jump down and you kill him. Yeah, but there are two of them now. Yeah, then you bring them both over there, and then you let them come down and do their thing. Dan. Wow, Dan. If I was any good at this game, I would be pretty good. Yeah, if you were any good at this game, your advice would be valuable. Look, oh, that's what the drinks do. They give you hell. Oh. Dan. You're being the pansy with those guys. Just Pete. go, go at them with your hat. Pete, you want to play this? No, I don't. Actually, that's why I'm giving you advice. And you gotta jump. That's you gotta jump after they shoot the bullets. Now wait for this guy to come over. Ready? Ready? Wait for the other guy to come over. Ready? Ready? It's almost time. It's almost game time. Ready? Ready? Shot. Shot. Now you jump. Let him shoot. Shoot, and then you get down there. Hat time, see? He still shot me. Well, Dan, you weren't hat time in it, right? Dan, you probably weren't doing something right. It's just like when my sister wanted to play uh, Fort with me and my brother. She could never play Fort right. That's why she couldn't play with us. My older sister, of course. Oh, you missed hat. Oh, now you gotta fight what the, the... You gotta fight the... Oh, my God. the White Sox or the Black Sox. It's Meyer Wolfsheim who fixed the World Series, Pete. Yeah, well, you're supposed to kill the baseball player, so he didn't fix the World Series. He did. He was too smart to get caught. Well, he got caught in the end by getting shot. See, all you gotta do is kill the baseball players. There you go, Dan. You beat Meyer Wolfsheim. Way to be German. This game is racist. This game is racist. The whole book's racist, Dan. From cover to cover, it just screams racism. Where are the black people? All right. Exactly. You can't even answer. Oh, oh, there's it's a butt. George B. Wilson's wife. And Daisy, a typical woman driver, ran her ran her over. Of course. Yep. But that, that there's this, all the This book is sexist too. There's all the sexy action you're gonna get. Nice. Is the butt. Is Gatsby gonna get shot in his own pool? I think he just did. Yeah. West Egg Beach, huh? We're gonna be walking on eggs, Dan. Oh, Mega those crabs are totally from Mega Man. That's what I was about to say. Whoa, oh those, my god, is that a ghost? Those ghost soldiers are totally from Mega Man. Whoa. Dude, they jump. What the hell are these ghosts? Are you, are you like in the afterlife or some shit? I think I'm on the beach. Uh, 
Remember in like, like chapter nine? Yeah, he was fighting crabs and, and piranhas. And then he he was fighting tuna. No, I think they were more. Yeah, because then he caught him and then he had a sandwich. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. This is the greatest game to ever face game them. Maybe. Like, not only am I not learning anything about The Great Gatsby, but I am not having a good time playing it either. Isn't that the best? When you can find- Oh, there's a green light! Now you're gonna shove it up your ass, yeah, so then it's a brown light. Yeah, I think that's that. Sounds like a good idea. There he is, like Castlevania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, house, like Castlevania. the house fell, <laughs> fell apart. That was it. Can't be believed in the green light. The or orgastic future. Orgasmic. I'm sure he meant by orgasmic. That year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we'll run faster, stretch out our arms farther, and find morning. Long-winded, just like F. Scott Fitzgerald. So we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Oh, that's where that's from? I don't know, maybe. Oh, this is still stupid as hell. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> it's alright, Dan. Everything you're doing is almost not always a waste. So he just stands there with his thing? I guess so. And he's like, hey, you know what they could have been doing right here? They could have been doing like a little stream. Where he's peeing. Oh, F. Scott Fitzgerald and M. Suzuki. Yeah, they were good friends. Yeah, they were real good friends. I think, I think uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's vision was, was. I think they were pretty true to it. I think so too, Dan. Yep. I really do. I mean, this game, seriously, dead on balls accurate, and that's an industry term to the uh, to the book, definitely. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember reading about Great Gatsby getting shot, and I remember reading about, there was no part where you had to beat up the guy who beat up the guy's wife, right? Wasn't there a guy who beat up his wife? No, he punched- Because he had a mustache, right? Yes. He did. His wife had a mustache, so he punched him in the face. Yeah, because uh, I don't remember seeing a lot of guys with mustaches in this game, and I'm kind of sad about that. Because you, you shouldn't even hit a guy with a mustache. Definitely. All right. Um, Dan, you got any other last words for this game? Yeah. I feel smarter and more literate after playing this. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we'll try to find a Mice and Men uh, video game so Dan can try. <laughs> so Dan can try and play that and, and teach the kids, right? Because that's what Dan's here for. Yeah, I'm Try for educate. a no death game. No game. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm not. But thanks, anyways. So is that it? I think so. He's just going to stand there for the rest of the time. Until the aliens abduct him. This guy and aliens. I swear. This guy hearts aliens. So anyways, this has been Kenshin1913 along with... Me. His name's Ghosty Films, guys. He's, he's a little depressed now. It's not really Ghosty Films, it's Dan, but he's he's a little depressed because he, he, he wishes this game could have went on forever. So this has been me and him, and this has been Let's Play Great Gatsby. I hope you enjoyed it. Dan's like crying in the corner. See ya.